Why is... Start talking. We're on. I need to see something. We're here. We're live. Yes. We've just been having some technical difficulties lately. Okay, we're here. Let's just do this. Okay. <laughs> right? We're here. Hi, everyone. I'm Tiff. I'm Jack. And we are back with the Daily Dose of Deliciousness. Yes. And we've had a couple failed attempts. Yeah, I don't trying know. Trying to get online, but we aren't stoppable so we'll just keep going and we are the unstoppable <laughs> you have to be you just have to be that's the only way it works yes we're so glad to be here it's a beautiful day oh wow we're outside of all places oh it's been so you, good you might be able to hear the birds and maybe the cars and it's been a long cold dark winter yes so we just need to make sure everyone can hear us so if you're on here please let Rashawn, us know. can you hear our voices is it working the last two videos that we've done have there's been no sound and maybe people are not hearing because Rashawn gave us a heart let us know if you can hear us yes anyone anyone I guess we'll just talk it and if you can hear us phone let's see okay yes okay, okay we're thanks, gonna go Rashawn. okay <laughs> Woo. okay we are on we've got this game going so today we're talking about something very very there's like 10 of us. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> so is that what you all are experiencing? That there's a loop and there are like 10 of us talking all at the same time? Is that what everyone else is experiencing? This is a really awesome message and we really want to share it when you can hear it. And see us And that normally. it's not confusing. So if any of you on the call. Okay. Okay, Gary. let's just okay, go good. Okay. So, Tiff? The topic today is, um, oh, it keeps looping. Okay. It's normal for okay, me. Okay, let's just keep okay. going. Let's okay. keep going. Here we Sarah, go. we hope it works out. Okay. So stick with us. Okay. So we're going to be talking about um, ways to figure out if you're disrespecting yourself. And you may not know that these things that we're going to share today are actually ways that you're disrespecting yourself. And the reason we're even addressing this is so many people say, I wish people would just respect me. But the truth is, you can only be respected by others if you respect yourself. And it's important to know how to respect yourself. And we actually had one of our clients ask that very question. How do I know? How do I respect myself? What, what is going on? Right. So we're going to talk about five really simple ways to identify if you're disrespecting yourself. So number one is speaking poorly about yourself to others or even just to yourself in your own mind. Like, I'm so stupid. Think about it. Do you yeah. talk worse to yourself and about, would you ever treat another person the way you're treating yourself? Would you say mm. the things you say to yourself to another person? Right. That is a great place to start because if you are speaking more unkindly to yourself than you would ever speak to anyone else, it's time to stop doing that and to change the way that you think about yourself. Okay. Number two, put, putting others ahead of your own needs or desires. That's another way that we disrespect ourselves. Number three, don't speak up when you're hurt. So it's like when you're not speaking up for yourself when you're hurt, because no one's gonna know you're hurt unless you say something, because no one is in your head. So that's another way that we disrespect ourselves. Uh, number four, spending time with people who treat you unkindly. That's a way to disrespect yourself. Mm -hmm. And number five, you feel guilty when following your own heart. So now we just talked about the five points and we'll write them again in our notes, but we're going to go in depth on each one. Yes. Yeah, so hi, Kelly. I love you too. Kat, hi, Kat. Sarah, Sarah. Hopefully it's working better for you now. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being okay, here Okay. So today. we talked about speaking poorly about yourself. How do you stop doing that? Because it's pretty easy when you do something and you feel like you're uh, failing to be like, oh, oh I'm just so, so ridiculous. Stupid. Things like that. Or I always do that wrong or I'm always messing up with that. This is where um, I'm just, it's not like I can just say to you, stop talking poorly about yourself. We want to give you some tools to help you actually be able to do this. So one of the things that you can do is start really paying attention to the things that you do that you really like about yourself. So if you're doing well at work or someone compliments you or you made a really good meal for your family, anything that you can see that really uh, you feel really proud of about, your, about what you're doing, start thinking about that and start 
saying amazing things like, I really am so good at this, or I'm so smart. Look at how awesome I am in this way. And, a, and an easy way to start doing that is when someone pays you a compliment, just say thank you. Right. Without saying, no, it's not that great, or I'm not that good, or yeah. there are people better. Just say thank you. Yeah, so that's your thank one you assignment. So much. And by doing that, you'll be respecting yourself, loving yourself better. And from there, you'll be able to give and receive love a million times better. So practice saying thank you. With no excuse. Yes. Without, well, thank you, but. No but. Oh, no. No buts. Mm -mm. Nope. No buts. Nope, nope. They get in the way. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Especially if they're big bucks. Because they don't lie. <laughs> okay. okay the second one. Putting others ahead of your own wants and desires. Now, this is a pretty tricky There's topic. There's a lot to talk about with this. Because we think, well, if we lose ourselves in the service to others, we will find who we really are. And that's a little bit backwards. It doesn't mean that we're not doing loving and kind things for others. But if you're not full in your own fuel in your body, you don't have a lot of energy to give continue on and to give the gift that you are and that's doing self-care that's being loving yes. towards yourself that fills up your own tank so that you have more to enjoy life with to give to others you must 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 put yourself first yes so start thinking about things that you really desire and start taking steps to accomplishing those things because that is self-care. One of the things that Jack and I do is we go to the gym. Jack has his daily coffee. Like there's just I little time, coffee. little things during the day that we do for self-care. I rest when I need to rest. I chat with my friends. Um, I We love to have fun and laugh. Oh my gosh, laughter is so important. So make sure you're doing those things to fill up, you, fill up your energy so that you have enough to offer for others it's important yes hi Sheila hi Sheila. So, hi Barbie okay Heather. okay um, three don't oh, dare that you don't speak up when you're hurt or your feelings are hurt yes right? so why do we do that why do we not speak up I have a really good reason because we're embarrassed and we feel like we shouldn't be feeling bad when we do and it the way to really conquer this is to really honor your own feelings and emotions. That's that's like that they matter. It's like, oh, that hurt my feelings. And whether we're out of alignment or in alignment, it's really irrelevant. But honoring how you feel about something, whether you think you should or shouldn't feel that, is really, really important to respecting yourself. It is. And speaking up. If someone's doing something unkindly, share it. It doesn't yeah. mean you have to say, I hate you, you're doing the wrong thing. Yeah. It just means to speak up about your feelings and share when you feel hurt. And don't discount. Don't discount mm -hmm. yourself and your feelings. You matter. No, it's You're true. Important. Number four, spending time with people that are treating you unkindly. Now, this is an epidemic, everyone. It's, you know, we love people. So sometimes we put up with a lot of yucky stuff and we spend time with people that treat us unkindly. This is one way that we really disrespect ourselves, and in order to change that, sometimes we have to change playmates. And that can be easier said than done. Yes. And you may find yourself that maybe your intimate relation, your partner, your significant mm -hmm. other is not treating you well. Uh, the place to start is getting honest with them and sharing your feelings with them about how you feel about what's going on and look for solutions. and. Or just day to day, you know, if, if you're spending time with people and you p make a plan, you're going to go out to lunch or whatever, and you honor your commitment, you know, if you've committed and you always show up, but that other person never shows up or they always forget, if that relationship is worth saving, then you speaking up is the only way to do that. Now, maybe that relationship is just one that is better to be done with. Yeah, we're That's just okay finished. too. Right. But really, really realize that your feelings and where you are matters yes and if you continue to spend time with people that treat you unkindly it's not good for you no so you're gonna have to make some decisions no and this is why it's so important what we're talking about because we're talking about other people treating you unkindly but are you like we said the very first point are you treating yourself unkindly yes are you discounting yourself being self-effacing putting yourself down thinking thoughts of being stupid you have to be good to you so then you'll be able to recognize when the people around you are they being good to me or treating me poorly and then remove yourself but it starts with you first and one of the greatest things when you really start to respect yourself and honor the person that you are you begin to attract people that will do the same that's thing. right and and you don't even law have to think about it no that's part of the law of attraction it is it is like attracts like so yes. if you treat yourself shitty 
you're going to have people treating you shitty. Be good yeah. to yourself and you're going to start changing yeah. the whole scenario around you. And the last one is you feel guilty when following your heart. Oof. And this is this, a, we this could talk is a for big hours one. About this. So we're going to keep it small. We are. But what I would like to say is there's not just one mold for everyone. Everyone is a unique expression of themselves. And so that means your mold is the only mold there is. And it's you. And that means that you must follow your heart. If you don't follow your heart, you'll be following someone else's heart. When you're following someone else's heart, do you think you're really going to feel peaceful and happy and joyful? Nope, no, you'll resent no the way. shit out of them. Yeah. You will. If you think that you're trying to make everyone around you comfortable and giving up what you know your heart is calling to, you will resent them to death. It's you true. will. It's just how it works. It's you, true. You have to be true to yourself. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Josie, I'm so glad you're here. Um, you absolutely must follow your heart. And we are two people that can talk about this. Yeah, we because can. Because we follow our hearts. <laughs> we have followed our hearts. I am transgender. I'm a trans man. And I have... and. All, all of us here, we all have a story, but to follow my heart, I've had to make some very bold decisions and moves that radically alter my physical appearance, which affects everyone around me, from my closest people to my extended family to friends, acquaintances. Yes. And I had to do it knowing that I could very well lose the people that I love because they didn't like what I was choosing for myself. Yeah. Talk about following your heart. Yeah. We know what we're talking yes. about. But when you'll follow your heart, you will be in alignment. You will be at the highest point of attraction for the universe to give you everything you want. But when you believe you have to break your own heart so that you can live true and make someone else happy, you will want to be dead. And yeah. I am not kidding. So following your heart, you it just are you following your heart? All these other yeah. steps we just talked about are, will help you take the steps to follow your heart by loving yourself, respecting yourself, doing self-care, all of those things, they will help. Yes. So here's to respecting ourselves. It's exciting. It makes life so much better. It really does. And don't forget to eat dessert first. Because life is meant to be devoured, as we always say. And um, also devour our free gift. I'll throw that link in if you haven't. Um, gotten our free gift which is relief in 30 seconds or less yes we know that many of us many of you and us have times where we feel deeply overwhelmed and trying to manage all the chaos of life and there's a way to turn that energy around in a very quick amount of time and that's what our free gift is all about yes and tune into our YouTube channel that has all our fun videos yeah, I'll throw a link we're kind we're kind of silly yes. so watch us we, we, we make a collection <laughs> of all these crazy videos whether they're sideways or straight up or whatever yeah we, but we've, we've got, got a message gathered up we love you. Thank you for being here today. Yes, yes. Have the most beautiful day. Absolutely. And go respect yourself today. Yes. We'll be back.